This tutorial explains how to merge multiple data frames using the pandas library in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the three data frames that we can create with lines 2 to 19 of the code. So in line 2 of the code I'm first importing the pandas library and then in lines 4 to 7 of the code I'm creating our first example data frame. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right that a new data set is appearing which is called data1. And we can print this data frame to the bottom right by running line 8 of the code and then you can see that our data frame contains six rows and four columns whereby the first column is called ID and contains a unique identifier and the other columns X1, X2 and X3 contain different values. In the next step in lines 10 to 13 of the code I'm creating another pandas data frame so after running these lines of code a new data frame called data2 is appearing at the top right and we can print this data frame as well by running line 14 of the code and then you can see that this data frame also contains an id column and it contains different columns than our first data frame. And then in the next step in lines 16 to 18 I'm creating the third pandas data frame so after running these lines of code the data frame data3 is appearing at the top right and we can print this data frame to the bottom right by running line 19 of the code and then you can see that this data frame also contains an ID column and two different columns as in the previously created data frames. So if you want to merge multiple data frames we also need to import the reduce function as you can see in line 21 of the code and after running this line of code we can apply the reduce function as you can see in lines 23 to 26. Within the reduce function we need to specify lambda left right and then we need to apply the merge function and within the merge function we need to specify the name of the ID that we want to use. So in this case our ID column is called ID. And then we also need to create a list of all the data frames that we want to merge. So in this case our data frames are called data1, data2 and data3. So if you run lines 20 3 to 26 of the code a new data frame is appearing at the top right which is called data merge 1 and we can print this data frame to the bottom right by running line 27 of the code and then you can see that we have created a new data frame which contains all the columns of our input data frames so the id column was contained in all of the data frames the columns x1 to x3 are coming from the first data frame the columns y1 to y3 are coming from the second data frame and the columns c1 and c2 are coming from the third data frame. However in this output you can also see that we have kept only two of the rows of our input data frames and the reason for that is that by default the merge function performs an inner join and in case of an inner join only those IDs are kept that are contained in all of the input data frames. So in our example only the IDs number 14 and 15 were contained in the input data frames. So if we want to keep all of our data we can perform an outer join as you can see in the next example in lines 29 to 33 of the code. And in these lines of code I'm using basically the same syntax as in the previous example. The only difference is that I'm specifying the how argument to be equal to outer. So if you run lines 29 to 33 of the code another data frame is appearing at the top right which is called data merge 2 and we can print this data frame to the bottom right by running line 34 of the code and then you can see that we have created another merged version of our three input data frames. So again we have the ID column and all the columns of our input data frames. However this time we have kept all the rows of our input data frames and always when an ID was not contained in one of the data frames the merge function has inserted an NAN value for the corresponding row in this column. So for instance the ID number 16 was not contained in the first data frame and for that reason the merge function has inserted an NAN value for the columns of the first data frame 
for this ID. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.